Alrighty, I took the starter apart and it was pretty dry as far as the uh, both ends where the oil would go. So I uh, rolled all that up, put it back together. Oh, it's going to be over to dry here, see what happens. Somebody did mention something about the compression release it's that they had on one of their mowers like this. I don't know if this thing has a compression release or not, but I can hear it turn till it hits that compression point and it kind of like, uh. Um, hadn't been cranked much in the last week. I suppose it wouldn't hurt to uh, throw an ohm meter on there and see how hot the battery is. Well, I threw my gauge on there. The battery should be hot enough. I'm just going to plug it into the charger and get it started and take it out and cut some grass with it. And hmm, go from there. All right, I will corn fast. I didn't do everything I should have done probably to that starter. I know you should get the starter drive out of it and clean the little cracks between that little brass thing. I think someone called that an actuator or a commutator or some kind of tater. I don't know. <laughs> but there was a pin in the uh, in the uh, Bendix. That's what I was trying to think of a while ago. It was like a little C-clamp. You had to pull that down and pop it out. I remember watching a video. I think it was, I want to say maybe it was M. Garnett, but I might be wrong. Somebody put up a video of redoing the starter a while back, and they were talking about how to get that out and get it back in. And if I went back and found that, I'd know how to do it, and I might do that later. But for what I did was, it was quite dry on both ends, so I got a little oil in both ends where the bearings were and just put it back together to see if that worked. Uh, I will say this, she ain't been cranked much in the last week. She, well, I shouldn't say that, she hasn't been run much. I cranked her and moved her here, moved her there, and moved her there. So I went ahead and threw the battery charger on her. I'm going to get out and cut some grass with it. Sometimes I notice when I'm using it regular, it kind of works okay. Uh, so I'll get it out and I'll cut the grass with it. Dead Eye Dan's going to come over later this morning. We're going to have some breakfast, and uh, while he's around, I might see if I can't manufacture a way to get that Volkswagen up off the ground. Uh, I tell you, ideally it'd be neat if we could get the Volkswagen in here on the lift, pick it up, crawl into the back of it, just have a look at what's hanging down. Uh, but I'm not going to do that until I cut a little grass. So I'll do some grass cutting and I'll be back.